so we've knit the leg of our sock. It's looking really nice. I love this colorway. And now we are up to the heel. Okay, so for the heel, we're going to be knitting back and forth across this needle. So we're no longer going to be doing magic loop. We're just going to be knitting back and forth across this needle. And then once the heel's finished, we will then start knitting around again. Okay. So for the heel, we're on the right side and we knit to the last stitch and then turn the work. So we don't knit the last stitch, we knit to the last stitch and then we flip our work over. Okay. Okay, so I've knit to the last stitch and there is one stitch left unworked on the needle. Now we're going to flip our work. And we are now on row two. And you can see we have the wrong side. Okay, so for row two, we're going to yarn over and then purl to the last stitch. So again, we don't purl the last stitch, we leave that on the needle. But first we do a yarn over, so yarn over, and then we purl. Okay, so I've purled to the last stitch and I have one stitch unworked on that needle. And now I turn my work. And we're ready for row three. So the pattern says here that there will be one stitch unworked at the beginning of the row yes and there will be one paired stitch consisting of a stitch plus a yarn over at the end of the row and if you can see that the paired stitch is where we did the yarn over before so we've got our unworked stitch there and this is the paired stitch and then we have normal stitches you'll be able to see it more easily when you come up to it but it just is two stitches that sit together like that so now for row three, we're going to yarn over and then we're going to knit up to the paired stitch. So it'll be this gap here before the paired stitch. It will look like there's three stitches on the needle when we get there, but it's actually one stitch plus the paired stitch. Okay, so we yarn over, thus creating another paired stitch, which we'll come up to later. And then we knit up to the paired stitch. Okay, so I've knit up to the paired stitch and now I turn my work. So I turn my work and I'm on row four and I'm on the wrong side. Okay, so row four is yarn over and then purl to the pair, paired stitch, then turn work. Okay, so we yarn over, then we purl up to the paired stitch on this side, which will be just this gap here so again it will look like there are three stitches on the needle but it's actually one stitch plus a paired stitch on this side okay so we yarn over and then we purl okay so I've purled up to the paired, the paired stitch so we have that paired stitch plus that unworked stitch and now we turn work and we're ready for row five. So we're basically doing this over and over again. So row five, we yarn over, we knit up to the paired stitch, which there are now two of. So it will look like there are five stitches on the needle when we get there, but it's two paired stitches plus that one regular stitch on the end. So we've yarned over and we knit to that next paired stitch. Okay, you can see here I've got two paired stitches and I've got my unworked stitch there. So I've knit to 
the nearest paired stitch or the outermost paired stitch. And now I'm going to turn my work again and we're just going to keep repeating this process every time you'll get another paired stitch on each end. So you keep doing this until you there are 9, 10 or 11 paired stitches on either side of the needle depending on what size you're making. So I'm making a size small so I need to keep repeating rows 4 and 5 until there are 9 paired stitches on either side of the needle. So there's, there will be 9 of these on this side and 9 on this side. And I'll meet you again when I've done that. Okay, so I'm about to complete my last row five. I have nine paired stitches on this side and I have eight paired stitches on this side. And I'm about to create the ninth by doing a yarn over now. But then on this last row five, we don't turn the work. Okay, so, and just remember that will be a different number depending on your size. So either nine, 10 or 11. All right, so, I'm doing my last yarn over to create the ninth paired stitch or the last paired stitch. And we are now on the second half of the heel. So for the first row, we continue knitting on the right side up to the first paired stitch. And then we start the row one instructions. Okay, so I knit up to the first paired stitch. Now it says knit one, the regular stitch of the paired stitch. Okay, so that's actually just the first one. The second part of the paired stitch is the yarn over. So I knit one, the, the regular stitch of the paired stitch. And now the next instruction is to knit two together. And that's the yarn over with the regular stitch of the following pair. Okay, so this is the yarn over here, and then there's the regular stitch of the following pair. So I knit them together. Okay. Then next, I turn the work, leaving the remaining yarn over of the pair unworked. Okay, so that's this, that's unworked. We turn the work. Okay, and now we're up to row two, wrong side. All right, so for the wrong side, we want to yarn over. And now purl to the first paired stitch. Okay, so I purled up to the first paired stitch. And then we purl one, the first stitch of the pair. So that's just purl one, the closest stitch. And then we purl two together, which is the yarn over of the pair together with the stitch of the following pair. So this is the yarn over from that paired stitch. And then the first one here is the regular stitch from the following pair. So we purl them together. And now we turn our work, leaving the remaining yarn over of the pair unworked. So that's this one, we're leaving that unworked. And we're turning our work. Okay, now we're on to row three, which is the right side. We want to yarn over and we're going to knit to the first paired stitch. Okay, I'm up to the first paired stitch. I want to knit one, the regular stitch of the pair. And then we're going to knit three together. So two yarn overs here with the first stitch of the following pair. So we're knitting all three together. There we go. Now we turn our work, leaving the remaining yarn over unworked. Okay. Now we're on to row four. Yarn over. 
and purl to the first paired stitch. Okay, I've purled to the first paired stitch. Now I want to purl one, the regular stitch of the pair. So that's the first one. And then I want to purl three together, the two yarn overs, this one and this one, together with the first stitch of the next pair. So all three together, one, two, three, purl together. And now we turn our work, leaving the remaining yarn over unworked. And now we repeat rows three and four until all the heel stitches have been worked, ending with a wrong side row. So I'm just going to keep doing that back and forth and then I will see you again. Okay, so I'm still going, but I thought I'd just check in with you and I'm halfway through to show you this little bump forming and hopefully you've got that happening too and that everything's going okay. This is the heel and we're just getting gradually more and more closer to the ends each time we do this and hopefully you can see what's happening but we're closing up these gaps as we do this and there's the ones that I've already worked. You can see there's no holes there because by doing this, these um, special stitches, we're closing up those holes. Because if you were to just turn back and forth, you would have holes. So that's why we do it this way. And when we get to the ends, we're going to start knitting around again.